white rocks go into old aisles where the past is all so whether you're in a green environment or a grey environment, you know, if you're in a stone or, you know, or a living environment. But I think over time we will have, want to do that. It's a build feature. Yes, it is, isn't it? You've said it. How about a short, which one do you think you want to do? He wants to read poetry. <coughs> Probably meant box read poetry. When I could answer, he did not say them. When I could let him know how I would like to join him in his journeys, seldom he wished to go. Now that he goes and wants me with him more than he used to do, never he sees my faithful phantom, though he speaks our food. Yes, I accompany him to places only dreamers know. Where the shy hares show their faces, where the night looks go. In the old aisles, where the past is all to him, close as his shade can do, always lacking the power to call to him, near as I reach their feet. What a good haunter I am. Oh, tell him, quickly make him know. If he but sigh since my lust befell him, straight to his side I go. And if it be that at night I am stronger, go to, by day I do. Please then, keep him in gloom no longer, even ghosts tend thereto. The term landscape, you know, refers to sort of man-made idea of the world we live in. Yeah. Um, and then somebody pointed out that um, just down the road from where we were, you know, this beautiful setting, um, was Long Larton Prison. Remember from the sort of IRA? Oh, yeah, yeah, prisons, yeah. I think were there, weren't they? That's right. And so your idea of the landscape kind of changes when you know what's round the corner or what's yeah. hidden. And wheels and mid wheels. The shite hawk, as they used to be. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Where about indoors? Yeah, yeah, just inside the beer, just in the box. Of... She's running off with it. This is the point to sort of get out your notebooks and say, well, what am I thinking about now? <laughs> we all said how much we hated maps. Um, but we're interested in the idea of, you know, the re as Giles was saying earlier, the relationships you have with landscape and location and with each other in particular. Yeah. And how that can change. It kind of fixes it and makes it kind of logical and cold. You see, this is very Thomas Hardy, isn't it? Creepy old guy in the distance <laughs> filming a woman in the distance in the countryside. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Just from projecting your fancy. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think it was on the interviews, wasn't it? Taney was talking about how he liked to be in high spaces looking down at people oh, yeah, creeping yeah, through landscapes was, uh, and was, with his telescope. Absolutely, he was a boy there, I think. Was, uh, also, I think that was part of his, his role when he was, because he had a kind of semi-legislative kind of role, didn't he, as well? Oh, that's kind of right, he did, didn't he? On the, ca oh, the council or, or something. Yeah. That's right, and the kind of audity kind of thing, kind of a keeping tabs on people. So he wasn't liked in Dorchester. He wasn't, he, he wasn't those, who, I mean, he was certainly seen as a social climber. And, 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 and although I was warned away, from, I mean, maybe I'm sure Bromley would be far better qualified to talk about this than, than, than I was. <laughs> but, but to step back from, to not go as far as Return of the Native being autobiographical. But that sense of Hardy's dislocation um, he in game, he felt slightly like dislocated in the countryside and like the high society, which I think got through the, the, the relationship with his, I, I his second one. Well, geocaching projects. Do you know about geocaching? Mm. It's been around for about must be ten years now. Yeah, at least yeah. Um, people have been using that. Originally, they what they used to do is they would give. Um, GPS waypoints, and this is the point where you had to have a GPS, so you had to basically figure out, just because it just gave you a readout, 
to find things. So they would tell you in the roughly the vicinity, they'd figure out the rough vicinity of the tree and they'd have hidden it in the tree mm. and you'd have to go and find things and then you usually what you do is you add, you take something away and add something to it. space that we all created back there and this is the road I go up to work every day you know it's kind of back to you know yeah. the, I was that back that. To so you come off the field with the sheep and you and cut it's around it's, yeah, and the sound, the sound yeah. cuts off yeah. and you're like okay back in the jungle <laughs> one of the nice things about the having the the box the effect might be as you're saying about that you start to pay more attention as it were mm. sonic to atmospheres mm. because yeah. you're yeah. concentrating I think it's the box I think Mm. Company, purpose of you know the, 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 re, you know, the reason that we're here. Some, some of those more kind of mundane things as, as well. In the box as well. There's something burdensome about the box. Yeah, I felt like it should have someone's ashes in it. Mm. Did you? <laughs> yeah. So if it un if it if it if it unlocked and a whole load of ashes blew up in your face, would that be satisfied? Um, oh. No. Satisfied is not the word. Yeah, so if it started really oozing out, <laughs> blood kind yeah, of dripping, that's that pleasant. would really kind of... <laughs> really hot. <haunted. laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you've all, uh, in the fridge, Burton note doing some Dylan Dommers, which is really, really... <laughs> I suppose yeah, we're right, some common ground for grazing, yeah. For probably, and then they would have probably kept it as a bit of green belt after the war. Yes. Well, if you look back at the town from here, yes. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah. 